Hey guys, it's me again with a second video. I forgot to mention it in the first one that I was doing a second video. But, um, okay, I'm trying out a new program. Forgive me if it's slow or if it doesn't work. First time using this. But I want to show you the Square app from a phone. So, see if this works. Yay, it works. Okay, see, it has, hold on, sorry, 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 let's see if this works. Okay, we're back. So, <laughs> this is the first scene you come to, and this is where you can do a sale. Um, mine says press button on reader, that's because I have a wireless one, so if I wanted to connect my reader, I just have to press the button on it. Um... From here, you can like enter how much you're charging and all that. A feature I like is down here at the very bottom. If you hit that little button that looks like a list, it brings up your inventory that we've entered into when we in the earlier tutorial. Everything is here. So it does get a bit much when you have more inventory, but just starting out, when you make a sale, okay, well, they bought that, and they bought a Main Street Mechanics, and then you can charge. Since my reader isn't connected, no, it only gives me the option of cash, a manual card entry, or manual gift card entry. If my reader was connected, or when your reader is connected, you just have to immediately swipe. So... And with the app, a good this is another good way to keep track of your sales. Say that this was a cash sale. They gave me cash. I could hit that as cash. I can. How much did they give me? They gave me 10. I can tender that, which means put the sale in. And then it would count towards my sales. Um, it's a good way to keep track of how much you sell, even if they don't swipe a credit card. So that's just a little tip, like... I do that when I get cash sales, even if it's not right there at that moment when I'm with the person, um, I'll come back and say, OK, they bought someone bought this much with cash and then I'll put it in and it helps me keep a running total of how much I've made in the month, even with cash transactions. Um, come over here. Like I said in the video, I do most of my invoices directly from my phone. Um, and it's the same route as before you created invoice you add a customer and these are the customers and then you would type in a name once again I'm using myself as an example and then you add the item and of course they're all here and what I do um, you can do the customer amount like before if it's not an item and then shipping like we did before you add that add that boom and then of course add another item they got that 850 or this is something else I do if I'm like press for time I'll just do a custom amount they let's say they got a bracelet bracelet I'll just do that it's five bucks add boom sometimes it's a little faster and easier just to say they got a necklace they got a bracelet instead of scrolling through your items so you can add discount and the same options as before, um, invoice method, the frequency, all the stuff we went over before, attachment, and want, you can once again preview it. And this is how they'll see it on their phone. And then you can send it. But we're going to discard this invoice. And that, and then you can also see your items. And this is another reason why categories are good when you set it up. Say someone, uh, do you have any red seed bead necklaces? You can come here to categories. You can come here to seed beads. Ah, I do. I have, and then you, I have three in stock. Would you like one? So basically, stuff like that. Stuff that just makes your life easier. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can see your transactions. You can get all the transactions. Um, another feature I like is the reports. You can see your sales. I haven't made any sales today. It's been a very slow day. I have to go live a little later. <laughs> but 
you can select a time frame. Um, and a, you can do custom. I like to do custom. And then I like to quick see how much I made from the year. I started in January sometime to now December 6th. We're going to apply. And I've made $1,043 in, what is that, 12 months. Could do better. I just, I didn't really start out really doing this like that but I I'm I'm getting more into the swing of things but it's that's a good way to keep track of how much you've made and you can put any range in that you want you can select any time frame that you want you can do like how much you've made this month so that's basically it um yeah you can see your items and you can even create the items from here same way that we did before you'd have to have the pictures in your phone um, or you could like do it here put the name in like necklace put the name in and do all that and then when you get back to the computer if you have your the pictures on the computer you could just go in that way and edit it that way if you don't have the pictures on the phone. Yes, I know I have unsaved changes. So that's it, just a little add on to the video, the first video. Um, if you have any questions about the app, let me know. And I was glad I was able to do these for you. And I will see you guys around again. <laughs> Bye.